So normal NSAID dose for the first five days <clears throat> was enough to reduce the strength of the tendon by a third. Okay, so if, if the, in the subjects that had this calcaneal thing, <clears throat> the uh, calcaneal tendon uh, rupture and, and repair, they, if they were taking NSAIDs for the first five days, the, it reduced the inflammation and helped with the pain, but it also reduced the strength of the tissue by a third. Um, which they found that it took several weeks, a pretty long time before it was able to actually catch up with the people, you know, with the other you know, side that were part that wasn't affected, whatever, the people that weren't affected. So it was like a big, big strength change. But what's really awesome about this is the guy, that, the orthopedic surgeon that did the research was like, he was quoted as this, said, if I were to sprain my foot and I would take NSAIDs, I would take NSAIDs, even though they may delay the healing, just to reduce the pain to be able to start walking on my foot as soon as possible. Why? Because in the research, what they also found was the sooner you started imposing force on the, the tissue, it would heal exponentially faster than the ones that were resting and not impo imposing force on. So even with the NSAIDs and how much it reduces strength, the actual application of force with the NSAIDs overrode the amount of weakness that the NSAIDs caused. And they got stronger than the people that did it. 